long division. We got time for that. You guys remember long division? Hey, did you notice I put a 0x in there? What do we call that? A placeholder. Okay? Now, recall how to start off this long division process. It's all about this guy right here. You want to cancel it out. So what do you have to multiply x plus 1 by to create a 5x cubed? A 5x squared. Notice I put it above the x squared term, kind of like place value. So 5x squared multiplies this x to make a 5x cubed. 5x squared also multiplies the 1 to make a 5x squared. Do you add or subtract in the long division process? Subtract. That's how those will cancel out. And then what's x squared minus 5x squared? Then you bring a term down. And now I'm focused on the negative 4x squared. What can I multiply this by to cancel the negative 4x squared? Negative 4x times x is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x times 1, negative 4x. Here's where I will see mistakes get made. Those cancel. What's 0 minus negative 4? Positive 4 with the x. Then bring down the minus 7. Now what do you multiply by? Positive 4. That will give you 4x plus 4. Go to subtract. Negative 7 minus 4. Negative 11. What's negative 11 called? Our remainder. Remember what to do with the remainder? You could write it as plus negative 11 over x plus 1 or minus 11. Remember synthetic division? Does this look familiar? Most people like this one, yeah. Short. All right, so is that high enough, Kurt? Okay, so I call this the box over here. Inside the box, I'm going to take the opposite of this number. Um, we'll, we'll look a little bit more in detail later on as to why it's the opposite. It's something called the factor theorem. Okay? Uh, 5, 1, 0, and negative 7, those are just my coefficients. Once again, notice the placeholder here. Okay? In this particular method, I add instead of subtract. Okay? And you always begin the process by bringing this number down. Take that number, multiply it by the number in the box. The result is written right there. What's 1 plus negative 5? Negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1. 0 plus 4, 4. 4 times negative 1. And negative 7 plus negative 4 is negative 11. The last number is always your remainder. So I like to put a few dashes there, a few dots to separate it. And then here's what we need to realize. We took a cubic expression and we divided it by a linear where the power is 1. So a cubic divided by a linear will result in a... Power of what? Two. 
So this 5 corresponds to 5x squared. Then you just work down by power. Minus 4x plus 4 and then the remainder over the original. A lot less writing, right? Yep. The bad thing is it only works in the case of dividing by a linear where the leading coefficient is a 1. If that were like x squared plus 1, I would have no choice but to do long division. Right? Luckily, we can use this process quite a bit um, when we're equation solving later on in chapter 4. Okay, let's stop there. We'll get to those tomorrow. <laughs> those will be quick. All right, I want you to try these out tonight.